Hey, welcome back folks. It's a Model A kind of day. Um, we got some new parts and we're gonna see what we can do to help maybe resolve this charging issue. Apologize for the background noise. Apparently my neighbor is clearing their lot. So since I got the car, I've been having some charging issues as I've probably explained in previous videos. I went through um, and you probably see the cover off the terminal block there. I've been trying to chase down the wiring, figure out exactly what's going on. Um, I have, you know, th this red wire was where the yellow black was running down to the, the generator. Um, I've been playing around with things. The negative lead off the coil started to break yesterday, so I, I fabbed a new wire real quick to put on there. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take the generator off today, and we're going to replace it with this 6-volt high-output alternator set from Nurex. It comes with all the parts, comes with everything you need, ready to be bolted on, ready to go. It's a really cool kit. Uh, tested out really well. It's a one-wire alternator, so everything is just going to go back to this terminal. So these two wires that we have down here on the cutoff are actually going to go to the back of the alternator. Let's walk through getting that done. I'm actually get my tools out. I need a flathead screwdriver, a 9 sixteenths, uh, actually a couple 9 sixteenths because you know get on either side, a uh, three-quarter inch wrench, and a uh, 11 sixteenths. Um, going to need these for getting stuff done. Don't worry about the ammeter. Uh, we're going to replace that too because the needle decided to uh, disappear on mine. I think it fell off. We'll get to that guy later. But first things first, let's get the screwdriver and let's unhook the old cables. Take the new alternator. We're gonna set it down next to, uh, uh, for the boss there. We got a couple washers that'll go on either side of the boss on the engine. For the new Rex bracket, they give you a new bracket, and you, from the head of the bolt, you have bolt head, lock washer, washer bracket, and this cone nut, and that goes into the uh, timing cover down here. It's tightened up with a 9 16 When you go for the reinstall, you're going to put your bottom bracket back together like normal and have that straight. And then take your new bracket from New Rex and it goes into the middle of the timing holes. You back out the 9 16 inch bolt, put in their bolt and uh, put the 9 16th, 9 16th inch bolt that you took out um, off the side or hold on to it for later. But you want to have, there's still going to be some play in that belt, about an inch of play on the passenger side. So that's about right. After your brackets are all reattached, last thing, so we're going to reattach our power cables, just like normal. Put them back, back on. terminal is a little big. Okay folks and it's all back together just like that. So we got our wires terminated on the new alternator. Everything running back up to the junction box. Everything clean. Junction box cleaned up and tight. Make sure none of our wires are loose. A test fire of the engine. Everything runs just fine. We're getting uh, chased in by a thunderstorm here, so uh, we're gonna have to call this one a little short. So we'll get to that ammeter next time, uh, but uh, 
Really appreciate you guys dialing in. And uh, let me know if you have any thoughts, questions, comments, concerns. I appreciate it. We're doing this one step at a time. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Like, comment, subscribe. You guys take care. Take care of someone else. All right, bye.